Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. A warm welcome to the Leeward Islands Daily Devotional, coming to you this week from the Angola Circuit. I am Maria Hughes, a circuit steward. Our theme for the week is Finding Joy Through Peace, with a focus on the text found in Philippians 4 and verse 7, which reads, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Today, I will present on the sub-theme, Finding Joy Through Peace in Our Work. Let us go to God in prayer. God of peace and God of provision, we adore you and we magnify your holy name. Forgiving God, we bring before you our iniquities and we ask of your forgiveness. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness and for the blessing of life. Lord Jesus, we welcome you into our presence this day. May your Holy Spirit continue to dwell among us and guide us as we glorify your name. We pray, O God, that as we worship you this day, that you will provide that peace which passeth all understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us now listen to Fanny Crosby's To the Work, To the Work. Today's scripture reading is taken from Philippians chapter 4, reading from verse 1 to 7. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, you whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, dear friends. I plead with Yodia and I plead with Sintish to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, And I ask you, my true companion, help these women, since they have contended at my side in the cause of the gospel, along with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 
This is the word of the Lord. The workplace and our actual work can be stressful and downright chaotic to the point where our lives are miserable because there is discord, disharmony, disagreements, disputes, and even divisions in the workplace. Even though most of us have worked, do work, or plan on working, feelings of peace and contentment are often elusive through our work. Joy and peace are two of the nine characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit. They are essential ingredients in the recipe for living a good life and having a balanced work life. Whether we were, are, or intend to be employed, how many of us truly find joy through peace in the work that we do? We all have different work experiences, but some of these experiences can quickly rob us of our joy and bring dissatisfaction, frustration, and disagreements with those who work with us. But I would posit to you today that we can find joy through peace in our work. I advance with confidence this assertion because of what Paul states in Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The quest for joy through peace at work begins firstly with us to stop finding our identity in our work. That promotion promised, the position taken from you and given to another co-worker, or the job lost, tend to have a profound impact on us. Not so much because we care so greatly for the job or the position, but the impact is primarily because we find our identity in our work, in the position we hold, and in the power we yield because of that position. So, when we are bypassed for promotion, or are relieved of our duties, we lose ourselves because our identity was rooted in the wrong place. Paul, in writing to the Philippians, says to them that their identity is in Christ. He says that they must engage God in everything, including our work by prayer and supplication. For us to make our requests known to God, it means that we must see ourselves as dependent upon Him. It means we must see ourselves as beneficiaries of the all-sufficient supplier who responds to our supplications. When we choose to submit ourselves to Christ and accede to his ability to address our request because he is our Lord and Savior, our identity is found in Christ. The joy in our lives therefore comes from knowing that in our work, our identity transcends our workplace conditions, circumstances, and chaos. When we miss out on a promotion or lose work, we do not lose who we are. When our identity is in Jesus Christ, it means that we belong to him regardless of what happens at work. We are candidates for a joy that is unspeakable and full of glory because of the peace in our work found and because of who we are in Christ Jesus. The quest for joy through peace at work also comes through our understanding of peace. Peace in our work is not only understood to mean that we are on good terms with our co-workers and the environment is free of clashes and chaos. But the word that Paul uses in verse 7 of Philippians 4 seems to suggest a wholeness, soundness of mind, that our welfare and well-being are cared for and there is complete reconciliation between ourselves and the God who places us in the work. These are not states that can be achieved. They are gotten. So we must view peace as not something we achieve, but as something we receive. Many of us leave home for work with the wrong understanding of peace in our work. We think that the more hours we work, the higher we climb the corporate ladder. And the more qualifications for our work, 
we have enabled us to experience joy in our lives because these accomplishments help us to achieve peace in our work. The truth is, while these are all important for professional development, as human beings, we have an intrinsic longing for something lasting and eternal. We therefore need to understand that as we engage in our work, there is nothing that our work itself can offer us that will provide lasting peace. No matter what position we ultimately attain or how much money our employment brings us, we will not find joy in our lives if we continue to look for peace in the wrong place and understand it from the wrong perspective. Paul says in writing to the Ephesians that we must see Jesus as our peace, for he himself is our peace. And Isaiah speaking about the Messiah says, and his name will be called the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Our perspective and understanding must be that the joy of life comes through having Christ with us in our work because he is peace. Paul also implies that in finding joy through peace in our work, we have to expect unsettling times. Peace in our work will not come by ignoring everything or having a lazy fair attitude. While Paul exhorts his Philippian audience to not be anxious, he doesn't say to be indifferent. What he does is that he encourages the people to whom he was writing by drawing their attention to two characteristics about the peace of God. First, he states that the peace of God transcends our circumstances. What this means is that when we lose our job, we do not have to lose our peace. There is a peace available through the Holy Spirit that gives us strength to stand, even when everything in our workplace wants to make us give up and give in. Challenges in our work are a guarantee, but Paul says there is a peace that is greater than these circumstances. Then, Paul says that the peace of God will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Peace is protection because it requires that we turn over everything to the Lord. When we attempt to solve every work-related problem in our own strength, we sometimes end up making what was a little misunderstanding into a monster. And surely our lives become devoid of joy because the workplace is without peace. So, as we go to work today, I implore us not to try and achieve peace. Rather, I encourage each of us to receive it. Paul assures us that the Holy Spirit stands ready, able, and capable of guarding our hearts and minds with the peace of God. It is this peace in our work that brings joy in our lives. Sisters and brothers, I challenge us to abandon the work drama and embrace the peace of Jesus Christ. It is in him, the Prince of Peace, that every day on the job we experience mental stability, employment security, spiritual sufficiency, and personal safety. All these characteristics of peace in the workplace lend themselves to joy in our lives. So, yes, by God's grace and through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can find joy through peace in our work. Amen. Let us close in prayer. Lord, we thank you that we can find the joy through peace in our work through your Holy Spirit. Help us not to lose our identity in our work, but to find our identity in you, the Christ. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the assurance in your word and providing that peace which transcends all understanding. As we go forth this day to our places of work, may you pay for us a path of peace and bless us with a journey of joy and an understanding that the joy of life comes through having Christ with us in our work each day, now and forevermore. Amen. I've still got joy.